Should you become a petroleum engineer in 2022? This is both the most lucrative form of engineering and it's the most volatile form of engineering. Later in this video, I'm gonna show you some charts and graphs to show you how both lucrative and volatile this particular occupation is. We're gonna go over wages, demand, history, and more. Petroleum engineering focuses on the development and exploitation of crude oil and natural gas. There's also a lot of technical analysis, computer modeling, and forecasting of future production. Petroleum engineering actually evolved from mining, engineering, and geology back in the early 20th century. There's actually four different types of petroleum engineers. There are completion engineers that decide on the best way to finish building wells so that oil and gas will flow up from underground. There are drilling engineers that determine the best way to drill oil or gas wells. There's production engineers that take over the wells after drilling is completed. And there's reservoir engineers that estimate how much oil or gas can be recovered. I was actually really surprised by this, but petroleum engineers actually really like their jobs. According to Payscale, they did a survey in 2014, 80% of surveyed petroleum engineers report extreme satisfaction or fair satisfaction with their jobs, and 66% report that their work makes the world a better place. So I actually can't think of another engineering field that has higher job satisfaction numbers than this. So petroleum engineers tend to have really great job satisfaction. As far as education goes, you really do need a bachelor's degree in order to get into this particular occupation. I'm actually gonna get into demand later in this video, but this is actually a very competitive, maybe the most competitive engineering field out there. And because there's booms and busts, you definitely need a, at least a bachelor's degree and you probably need, a, might even need a master's degree as well to get into this particular occupation. Recently, ONET did a survey, according to surveyed experts, about 72% think you just need a bachelor's degree and 28% think you probably need a degree above a bachelor's degree. But later in this video, I'm gonna show you the demand for petroleum engineers. And again, it's gonna be very competitive. Just like all the other engineering fields, the demographics of petroleum engineers are very similar to all the other engineering fields that we have covered. When we look at the demographics of the United States, we find that about 50% of people in the United States report being female. The United States is about 20% Hispanic Latino and 75% Caucasian. We actually don't have data specific to petroleum engineers because it's kind of a small niche field, but we do know the demographics of the average engineer. And for engineers, 83% of engineers report being male, 10% report being Hispanic Latino, 77% Caucasian, 15% Asian, and 6% African American. So engineering is male dominated and Asian Americans are very well represented in engineering. And to become an engineer, you really do need certain skills. You need to be pretty good at mathematics and physics. You need to be able to work on a team and communicate pretty well with other like-minded people. You really do need good problem solving skills. We can also look at the Myers-Briggs personality types of petroleum engineers. This is from the MBTI type tables for occupations book. It's like this thick. So they have a little passage in for petroleum engineers. According to the Myers-Briggs company, they found that the most commonly found Myers-Briggs types for petroleum engineering are just like the other engineering fields, the ISTJ, the ESTJ, and the ESTP, whereas the most likely Myers-Briggs types to become a petroleum engineer, ENTJ, INTJ, and INTP. Choosing the right career is one of the most important decisions you will make in your life. You will spend about a third of your entire life in one occupation, unless you change careers. So you might as well spend those 90,000 hours in a meaningful job, a job that you'll have good job satisfaction in, and a potentially very lucrative job where you can make lots and lots of money. We have a seven-step program for finding the ideal career for you that takes into account your interests, your personality, your values, and more. Check out the link below for more details. So what kind of wages can a petroleum engineer expect in 2022? We're gonna do wages, and then we're gonna go into demand. And in the demand section, we'll go over job postings and interesting things like that. In 2021, the average base salary of a petroleum engineer was $145,720. This is the highest paying engineering field of the 16 different engineering fields plus software development. I break out software development because some people don't really consider it an engineering field. I'm not gonna go into that right now. But closely behind are the computer hardware engineer and number three would be the aerospace engineer. But what's really interesting is that actually wages for petroleum engineers have actually fallen recently. There's not many other occupations out there that have seen their wages 
fallen as much as this in the past couple of years. I mean, it's still the most lucrative occupation out there, but it's it just shows you how volatile this particular industry is. In 2016, the average base salary of a petroleum engineer was $147,030. And when you look at 2021 numbers, the average base salary is $145,720, meaning the average base salary is less in 2021 than it was in 2016. And this is data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, not the Occupational Information Network. Between 2020 and 2021, there was a drop of $8,610 or 5.5% in the average wage of the average petroleum engineer. In fact, wages peaked in 2019 at $156,780 as a base salary before any benefits. And this is because of the volatility within the oil and gas industry. A couple of years ago, oil was extremely cheap. Now it's extremely expensive, partially because of the war in Ukraine. And this is just the nature of the oil and gas industry. It goes up, it goes down. Petroleum engineering is still extremely lucrative and there's opportunities for travel all over the world. Petroleum engineers, they work in the Persian Gulf, they work in Houston. There's many different places in the world they can be employed beyond the United States, but this is a particular occupation that has booms and busts. There are certain parts of the country that have a higher base salary for petroleum engineers. The first being the New York metro area where the average base salary for petroleum engineers is $214,700. With number two being Ventura, California. This is close to Los Angeles where the average base salary is $175,590. So those are two areas of the country that tend to pay petroleum engineers a little bit more, but I would actually discourage people from living there. You really wanna live in Texas if you're a petroleum engineer, because that's really where all the job opportunities are, specifically Houston, Texas. And that gets into our next section. We're gonna go over what's the demand like right now for petroleum engineers. And unfortunately for petroleum engineers, it does not look really good right now. The first thing to understand is there's only about 22,000 employed petroleum engineers in the entire United States workforce. This is much smaller than civil engineering, industrial engineering, and mechanical engineering, basically the big three engineering fields. And you look at the software development workforce, it is vastly larger than the petroleum engineering workforce. And to really show you how boom bust this particular occupation is, we actually have data on how the workforce has changed since 2016. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics in 2016, there was 32,780 employed petroleum engineers. By 2021, this sank to 22,100 employed petroleum engineers. So between 2016 and 2021, there's a loss of almost 11,000 employed petroleum engineers. This just goes to show you how competitive this particular occupation is. Most other occupations aren't like this. A lot of the other engineering fields aren't like this. When you look at industrial engineering, when you look at mechanical engineers, when you look at civil engineers, there's way more employed civil engineers now than there were 10 years ago. But with petroleum engineers, there's just kind of this boom bust cycle where, and recently because of the drop in oil price, there was a lot of loss of employed petroleum engineers. Now to be fair, the government doesn't project that this loss of jobs will continue. They do for nuclear engineering, but they actually think that there's gonna be 10% more petroleum engineers over the next 10 years than there are right now. Another thing we can look at is job postings. How many job postings are there for petroleum engineers right now in the US workforce? We're gonna use three different platforms, Glassdoor, Indeed, and LinkedIn. And we're just gonna count the number of job postings there are for petroleum engineers, and then compare it to the number of employed. On Glassdoor, when we searched for petroleum engineer in the United States, we got about 700 job postings. On Indeed, we found about 1,200 job postings. And on LinkedIn, we found around 1,800 job postings. So then we can compare the number of job postings against the number of employed, and this really doesn't look that good. This could be changing because the US might be ramping up oil production, but as of right now, in this particular moment, there's really not that many job postings when you compare petroleum engineering against the other engineering fields. But one strategy to counter this particular trend is to live in the hot spots for this particular occupation. There is two. The first is Houston, Texas. In Houston, Texas, there is 5,850 employed petroleum engineers, more than any other metro area in the entire United States by far. To put this into perspective, number two is Dallas with 1,290 employed petroleum engineers. So if you really wanna be a petroleum engineer and you want a little bit of job security, really consider living in either Houston or Dallas. Are you a petroleum engineer? Let us know down in the comments below. Let us know what you enjoy and what you dislike about this particular 
occupation. We have a lot of other content on a lot of other occupations. Feel free to check us out. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.